Hey everyone, it's as always Martin and it's been a while since I posted my last video and the reason behind this is first I was traveling, then I was having a lot of retouching work and also I was recording new course which you can get in the description and the thing I want to talk about today is connected to this course. Also, what I need to mention, um, you can follow my work in social media. I'm not really often saying that, but follow me on Instagram where I decided to post some of my work so you can be updated with what I'm doing. And what you see right now in front of your desktop is the portrait retouch I did for the course. Yes, last few weeks I was preparing a retouching course which covers portrait retouching, beauty retouching, as well as outdoor retouching. So I wanted to do something complete and in this video I want to do walk through this portrait retouching I did so you can know what's interesting maybe in the course maybe you could get that if you want or maybe you could see here what i was doing um, so you could apply the same techniques if you are well experienced enough so let's start from the beginning i'm going to open this group and that was image after raw processing and i'm going to start this walkthrough since the capture one the software I'm using to process my raw images. These images are available in the course to practice for you if you will be interested and I was working on this image. It was really well presented for the learning values. We have a lot of details on the image and you can already compare this to some other image that it has different colors as you can see and the reason is because it's already after raw conversion. So let's see what I did here. What you can see, I was I was working with some background here, I believe. So I, I know it might be some abstraction right now, especially if you were not using Capture One, but it doesn't matter. Like this is just on what I did on this image in my raw processing so whether you do this in camera raw or capture one that's up to you both of them will be just fine for you in the course i'm showing you the difference between these two softwares and telling why i'm working with capture one so the main thing that i did over here was um, playing with the background so I actually tried to knock down the warm tones that I had on the background on the separate adjustment layer in Capture One and bring up some of the bluish tones. I believe you can see them over here. And why I did this? Because the blue colors would work a little bit better with the skin tones I'm having over here. Except that I did few corrections to make it easier for retouch. I brought up some lights into the shadows and knock down some highlights, what I always do for my retouching. So these few simple steps and then of course I landed in Photoshop with exactly this image. And as always I'm starting with the simple cleaning up and that's quite a uh, work, not so much actually. Um, it didn't take me long, maybe around 10 minutes. And what you can see what I'm doing for my cleanup, I clean up all of the major spots that are not meant to be on this portrait, but I keep some of the molds that are part of the model. So I don't want to remove the natural, natural look that the model has. After that, of course, the most important process we could say for portrait retouching was uh, Dutch and Burn uh, to me. And I did this over this group and after these steps, actually, you can see the difference because after simple cleanup, there might be not big difference. But when I do Dutch and Burn, and I have to tell you, it wasn't really long Dutch and Burn because this is just a portrait image and that's why I did and the course to show you also differences between portrait and beauty image and show you how much work each of these require. 
so Dutch and Bern for sure um, it's quite complicated process at the beginning if you are starting but um, if it's well explained it's uh, super easy I'm just using curves for that and painting with light simply speaking because that's what Dutch and Bern is and for contrast I'm using actually a lot of masks so you can see big difference. I really love to improve the highlights on the image and of course darken the shadows and I love to use masks for it to get the perfect uh, the perfect lights on the image. I really work a lot with the lights because for me highlights is something that draw attention to the to the image. It makes the image pop out. Um, same as the eyes I actually brighten this up a little bit I could put this into the contrast layer so this image after this finally stand out and what I wanted to do at the end very soft uh, color processing to get some of this blue color and this was the final look that the color made this image really impressive and that's why I often talk about colors and how important are colors which in the course I explain quite much and after this you, you can see how these two colors skin tones and background cooperate together um, of course I, I think I wasn't talking recently about the other course I made um, I made few courses, one was uh, Mastering Curves, super important adjustment layer in Photoshop, the other Color Harmony, a lot of things about Color Harmony if you want to understand the colors and how to compose the colors on the image, super important, and my last retouching course when I keep parts of both of these course actually, but mostly focused on just retouching the images. So I believe really um, I approached in the good way here if you think you would go into the different way on this image let me know in the description I will try to make a walkthrough also on the beauty image maybe in the few days I could do this and in the coming year I would like to come with some really nice retouching lessons maybe some processing lessons because I'm recently interested in the, um, photography myself like um cityscape so that's the reason why you should follow my instagram as well because i will be posting so remember to follow me let me know what you think about this retouch and maybe what you would like to know on this channel and see you next time